Okay, I have just unwrapped the hate rice. Now this is the hate rice that I did um, months and months ago. And I actually went away on holiday. I forgot about it. I did actually try putting the love on it, and I was, but I, I had to go away on holiday for a funeral, so I couldn't keep up the love, love, love program. And so this is just basically how the hate rice is. I found these in my, in the drawer of my desk, and I, because I'd forgotten them, I'd wrap them in plastic just to, you know, keep them, you know, I guess keep the germs away, um, <laughs> as much as possible. And um, yeah, so that is the hate rice. Have a look at it. It is disgusting. So that is probably I don't know. It's getting pretty. It's probably you know on maybe nearly a year now since I since I put this rice in there. Okay, so hate, the hate rice is understandable. What I basically did was I put, you know, scoops of um, brown rice in two containers and the hate rice, I just said hate, hate for the period of about a month. And then I filmed a video about it. And if you scroll back through my videos, you can find those videos on hate. So this is about a year. And look at that. Now, I just want to show you this. The reason why I'm doing this video is because look at how cool this is. Look at the, the love rice. I mean, I just said basically love for a month. And basically, look at this rice. It is spectacular. I haven't touched this rice. I haven't said anything, done anything to it. It is pretty much just dried out. <laughs> this is the same rice from the same cooked rice. This one said hate to. This one I said love to for a month. And basically, there's nothing changed about this rice. It is still, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Can you look at the difference after about eight months? This rice, has, it's got no bacteria, it's got no fungus on it. The love has kept this rice in what you would, what, what could we say, a state of impermeability, a state of life, a state of a life force has been given to this rice through this love. You know, can you believe it? Because, I mean, the facts speak for themselves. You know, that's just incredible. Like, like I'm just blown away. That's why I'm doing this video. I hope you can hear it in my voice how amazed I am. So, just the message for this video is... Think of all the stuff that you hate in your life, whether it be in politics, whether it be people, whether it be, you know, things you've done in the past, and think of the energy, the intention that you are sending towards those things. It, it's, it's kind of a destructive energy, a destructive focus. Now, think of all the things that you love in your life, all the people that you love in your life, maybe that you tell them you love them, the, the things you did in your life that you love, your passions. There is a tremendous energy, a tremendous intention that goes from loving things, loving people. Look at this, just loving this for a month. Kept this rice in a state of impermeability for, like it's going on for, you know, six to eight months now. Since I did those initial videos. This is incredible. Like, this is incredible. It's incredible how long it's lasted. You know what, I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to put them back and see what, and you know, report on them maybe in three to six or 12 months. Um... It's incredible, you know, the amount, how love can, what love can do to your business, love can do for your clients, love can do for yourself. If you love yourself for all your past mistakes or your past errors, if you love this, love your partner unconditionally, no matter what they do, no matter what they say, if you, and if you tell them you love them, if you tell your children you love them, if you tell your grandchildren you love them, if you tell your parents you love them, you know, every week at least, you know, there's power in that. There is power in that. Now, if you, this is how you can work with me. I always like to, you know, plug my, what I do at the end. If you have unconscious programs driving you towards hate, because a lot of what we do nowadays, we don't really know why we do it. We hate certain things. We don't know why we hate them. And it's just pr basically our unconscious mind, our reptilian brain is guiding us towards hate. We have hateful, angry, uh, destructive emotions. Guilt is a destructive emotion that causes our, our body to break down. It causes us to get sick, causes chronic disease, chronic illness causes mental health problems. Hate is a very powerful thing. And another, you know, we could break hate down into, into any survival emotion like anger, grief, guilt, uh, sadness, fury, revenge, um, many, many, many emotions like that. Uh, hate basically when we break it down, they're sort of a negative emotion. And if, and it would be a nice experiment to write, you know, anger, guilt, sadness on different bits of rice in the future. Maybe I will do that. And just to notice, but just look at how horrible this hate rice is. It, it, there's no, you know, um, I, I was going to put love on, I did put love on it, and but I just couldn't because I had to go overseas and I, I lost track of this experiment. But just showing the difference after so many months between the hate and the love rice just goes to show that hate is a force. 
and it is a force that's manipulated in the media that you are manipulated to hate things. You, if you're a minority, you hate the majority. If you're a majority, maybe you hate the minority. Who knows? It's sometimes we just uh, have inherent thoughts. Christians hate Muslims. Muslims hate Christians. There's this engineered hate uh, that's going on in society, and it's not beneficial to your yourself or to society at large, to humanity. And then there's love. You can choose to love. You can choose to send out love to others, to yourself, on a continual basis. You can choose to love people. It's it's tremendous. You can choose to love people even if they're different. Yeah. You can choose to love people. Martin Luther King loved. He, he, he was about love. Mahatma Gandhi was about love. Jesus Christ was about love. You know, love is incredibly powerful in terms of transforming your life. Can you access love in your life today. Thanks for watching. Please check out my Facebook page, Roger Roger, and click like and share, and invite your friends to like it and get involved, because I will be doing these videos as much as possible. Love more, have a fantastic day.